you're interested in a bespoke website designed by LMS Live, then don't forget to quote Blue in the email and they'll give you a great deal. I can't think of many prouder days for being a Manchester City supporter. Here today at the Academy Stadium, it's a double header. It's City against Chelsea, first of all, in the Women's Super League. The two teams coming out behind me. A big crowd here as well to support the women before the men's game of course a little bit later on they're playing of course in the main stadium which is there behind me and that's a four o'clock kickoff so let's see what happens let's see if City can win both games wouldn't it be great if they could it's a big game but I'm confident what, who's going to be the difference then um, I think defence will be the difference today so it'll be down to the defence. So you're not expecting many goals then? No, I'm expecting it to be a quiet one. One nil will do. Uh, one nil will do. I was more nervous for the game midweek than this one. So now we've got that one, I think we're going to win this one. So you're pretty relaxed then. Enjoy. Come on. So what's the reason you're here today then? I'm here basically as a football manager of a women's club. And obviously, I brought uh, my friend's daughter who supports Chelsea. Um, and I've come to watch to see how the women's game actually works at this level. And it's quite something that City have it on this game on the same day as the men play Chelsea. Double head has a massive thing. Uh, it's the inclusion of both the men's and the women's game on the same day, which is great for any support where the transition they can actually move from this game straight over to the men's game and watch both games. It's an exciting era for football, isn't it? It's, it's a real, really exciting era for women's football, uh, the prominence that it's taken on now from what it used to be even five or ten years ago. How do you feel as a, as a player, as a young player? Yeah, I think it has come on a long way considering a few few years ago maybe when I was playing like it wasn't even on the telly and now it's shown on the telly and you've got like stands full of fans when that never used to happen, there'd be five or six there each game. This must be pretty inspiring for yeah, you, is it? Yeah, very. <laughs> and to have their own bespoke stadium here yeah, in the shadow of the main definitely. stadium. Definitely. Like if you, for example, at Newcastle where I am, we've got like nothing like this for, so for have, to have a club that can fight this for women's football is very good. I suppose the dream for you is to one day play yeah, either definitely. in this stadium or even the bigger one, do you think? Yeah, yeah definitely, but from where I am, I don't know if that opportunity is there yet. So despite leading 2-0 at half-time, the Blues have to settle for a point in the first of their double-headers against Chelsea. Uh, so on to the main stadium, let's see what the men do. Club, we've really got the marketing right on here. We need to encourage more people to go to the men's game to come over here, spend a couple of quid, watch some of the best women footballers in the country and arguably some of the best women footballers in Europe who play for Manchester City. The whole concept of, you know, the clubs say it's we are one club. It's not men, it's not women, we're one club. So the more we can do to encourage families and guys that perhaps think, oh, I don't really like women's football, spend a couple of quid. Come over here, you soon get your mind changed. This that was a cracking game of football. Two really good sides, full of full of uh, full internationals for Chelsea and for Man City. Going at it, great football, four fantastic goals, all for about ten quid. You can't go wrong, really, can you? Now you've got an hour's break. Yeah. You're still into the main, men's game. What's going to happen? There? Well, I, I think I think the men's game is going to be, could be like this one. This was a game of two hours. Chelsea was rubbish in the first half. We weren't so good in the second half. But I think the problem with Chelsea is they're woefully inconsistent. The, the team spirit shot to pieces. David Luiz is, is basically an accident waiting to happen. And if I had a, I had a Hazard is on it, they're, 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 they're nothing. So I think if Hazard don't come today and he don't want to play, and I think his mind's been turned by his move, I think we'll batter them. I think it could be 3-1 or even 4-1. So two matches. Have you watched the first one or are you going to the second one? Uh, yeah. Um, the, the women's game, oh, it, it was a bit unlucky. 2-0 up and then let it slip. Nikita Paris missed two easy chances. Should have scored them, but it was unlucky. I think the first half we performed really well, though. So you're more or less confident now for the second game? Um, just the same, it doesn't really link to be honest, so I don't really mind. We live in Warrington, so it's not far for us. It's quite special to be able to see two games in a day, isn't it? It's, it's nice, it's really nice, yeah. yeah. And it's good to come here, I enjoy watching the women play, so it's a nice game, nice atmosphere. What did you think of the game you've just seen? Uh, Chelsea, first half, couldn't put a pass together, had a few chances perhaps, which maybe 
Uh, they should have done better at. City were much, much the better team in the first half. Chelsea seems to dictate the second half a lot more. Chasing the game 2 0 down, pulled it back to 2 all. What are you expecting at the other game? We'll wait and see. <laughs> You're not putting you. Ah, yeah. uh, no. Um, we, we turn up. Chelsea can be a marvellous team to watch when you turn up at the minute. They're hit and miss. You know, so I love us to win, but let's see. Quite confident, a bit nervy at the start, but a confident 2 0. 2 0 City. What's going to be the difference between the two? Just the way we play and the way that we'll keep our cool and we'll play football on the floor and we'll, we'll uh, yeah, tactics, definitely. You've got to be a bit worried about Hazard, haven't you? Keeping quiet, I don't know. Mm. I, I, no, I think if keeping quiet, then man mark him, mark him out of the game. What do you reckon? 2-1, nervy game. Zinchenko worries me at left back a little bit. Um, <laughs> we look good at the minute, we're playing well again, so I think we'll win easy. I'm happy, I'm always confident. Uh, I think we can uh, definitely win. I am going to close... Uh, Close game. I uh, don't think there'll be many goals. So you think, don't think many goals? No. Two one probably is the uh, the way for. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. Two two one. Uh, I'd be happy with that. Well, it's obviously a massive game, and you know one that I'm sure all the City fans are hoping they win. I think they'll win, uh, but it's going to be difficult. Chelsea are a top team on the day. Um, they've not been having the day as, as much as they were early on in the season, but they're still a top team. Um, they've got some great players, and you know City are going to have to you know bring their A game to, to get all three points. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got to just you know this will just bump us in next to Liverpool. Uh, we've got to make sure we, we don't let Liverpool get away at all and um, you know all you can do is win what beat what's in front of you hopefully they beat Chelsea today um, you know Liverpool they do it they had a little wobble City have been there and done it all before so they've seen all this before Liverpool haven't so hopefully um, you know City can you know do it again you're going to win 2 0 you're going to show these what it's all about what gives you so much confidence because we're Man City and we do it Simple as that. Simple as that. No ifs or buts. All the time. We did it against Liverpool, we'll do it against these. How big a game is this today? Second That's biggest of the season. Second? What's yeah. the biggest then? Liverpool, Liverpool. obviously. <laughs> that, was, that was the best game ever. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think we're going to pull all the stops out today, Ian. Because uh, it's important, that obviously it's important that we get the three points. But... I think he'll bring silver on at half after half time, and Chelsea won't know what's hit them. What's his say on there? Then a City going to win today? Oh, City going to definitely win today. Uh, I think we're going to win three one. Three one. Yeah, I'll go with three one. What makes you so confident? What makes you so confident? It's time. It's time. We're, we're coming back into the thing. Come back into the swing of things. I'm. We're, we're bubbling. Good performance against Everton. I think we'll do well today as well. Should win, really. I'm a bit worried about Zinchenko at fullback against um, Willian and Hazard. Uh, I was just saying to my dad, but midfield looks strong, up top. Um, I think it's the right decision to drop Sane because I don't think he's been his usual self in the last couple of games. But I'd like to think we'll win, but it's a tough game. Um, just hope Zinchenko plays well. I think that'll be the, the big one. Those words of wisdom come from you. Well, uh, I think we should win, but hopefully, you never know in this game, do you? So no. we'll soon find That's out. The coming, isn't it? It's coming, uh, Pardon? That's the fun of coming. Oh, it's absolutely. It's great. You love it, don't you? You never know what's going to happen next. But we've been coming for 40 years, so there you go. Nice Hello. to see you. What do you think? Today? Tough you game. Don't let me stop you from singing, see, by Oh, the way. no, this is our era, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, it's my ringtone. Oh, no, no. Uh, hopefully. We'll win today. Be a tough game, though. Big ask, but three points. Come on. Yeah, carry on. For the winning streak. They'll put pressure on Liverpool. Three generations of the Lillys family here. Yeah. Granddad. Yes, granddad. Grandson. Yes. And son. Yes. So what are you thinking, Mark? Massive game. Massive game for us today. I think it's going to be tough. Definitely tough because they're not bad. But I came last week to the Arsenal game and we were superb. We can really, you know, do that again. That'll be great for us. But uh, you know, it's going to be a tough. But if we can get a win, you know, that'll be fantastic for us. What do you reckon, young man? What do you reckon, Coen? Two one. Two one. What does the sun say? 
I'll probably go with my son. I reckon it'll be a tight, tight knitted game. Two very good teams. Depends if, if the likes of Hazard and that turn up. Um, it'll be a tight game, but I believe City will win. I think I've been the granddad's expert. <laughs> Come on, you blue boys! <laughs> great, great start, Ian. 4 0, should have been 5. Aguero missed the first one, first easy one, but what a great start. Playing great football. That's some great goals. Brilliant. Nice birthday present for that lady. We just yeah, for Kath, yeah, lovely. Tommy's old girlfriend, she was, 75. Tommy used to go out with her. <laughs> you've just done the club and you've had ex players and you've had presents and everything celebrating your birthday. How did that feel? Absolutely fantastic. And just such, such a surprise. Like, no idea. No it's idea. changed a bit since you were a little girl, hasn't oh, it? Oh, it certainly has. It certainly has, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you made of that first half then? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant. No present ever. It was, yeah. Great. And that, this has all been organised by you, hasn't it? Her daughter. Yeah. Is that right? I think, I think 70 years of support deserves a bit of recognition and, uh, yeah, fantastic. She still looks after you now, doesn't she? She does, yeah. <laughs> she keeps me in hot winter and what we do, we have a little tradition every time we score a goal we get a chocolate football. We're going to be clinical, clinically obese by the end of this game. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. I think he was man of the match, not come. She just goal went in. Just couldn't breathe. It was amazing. Best game I've seen in a long time. We're back. We are back. Is it all about Sergio? No, Bernardo Silva for me. Never stops running. Brilliant. Brilliant. What a team performance, yeah. Bernardo was just outstanding, actually. Brilliant. Fantastic. Goal on the final. Sterling. Sterling. Amazing. Absolutely. Keep it going. Keep going all the time. Brilliant. Fantastic. Fantastic, man. Yeah, happy with that. My sister's a Chelsea fan, so I'll give her some stick later. That statement of intent, I mean, that was a really powerful It's got to be, hasn't it, really? Because when it comes down to it, that's got to give them a lot of confidence, especially with the League Cup coming up and everything. So, you would think. I would have took 1 0. <laughs> you know, but yeah. How good was that? We were absolutely awesome. And we will carry on like that and we're going to win the league again. And again, and again. Well, City played the ball around really well. Chelsea were lackluster, but when City play like that, they're going to beat anyone. I said in a tweet during the game that it felt like it was watching something on CGI. Yeah. And it wasn't real because they, they seemed to be able to do things that didn't look human. It's just that movement. Once that's busy one side of the pitch, they're shot into the middle, shot down the other side. But when you continuously move their defence side to side, once that player doesn't move on their team in that position, they're dead. And that'll work time and time again. It's surprising when City play from the back, it's either going to be Fernandinho or Gundogan's coming and pick it up on the edge of the box to hit another triangle with a fullback. And Chelsea just never pressed it. And when they don't do that, to give City that much time on the ball, they're going to kill them. And it's just breathtaking. It is. It's fantastic football. It's just brilliant what, to what watch. What do you think of that? Can you play that well? Um, yeah. You can. Well, <laughs> it was pretty good though, wasn't it? You have it? to work. Let's be honest, today City worked really hard. I think they had, uh, they wanted to win a lot because of Liverpool obviously winning on Saturday and they put a lot of hard work into it. I thought today that um, Zinchenko was brilliant, his passing and movement was brilliant. Um, Gundogan today just dropping into that pocket of space and receiving the ball. And Fernandinho, well he's always good. 
next time your coach says to you, I want you to play one touch football, yeah. you'll know why now, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, am his, I am his coach. You are his coach. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. That's what it's all about. One. Yeah. one touch, two touch, yeah. no more than Just that. Just one then. or two touches. Any of three or four is too much. It gets too busy around you, so they try and play one and two. Doesn't always work, but they're getting on with it well. So, yeah, but play like that's brilliant. Fantastic. That was unexpected, wasn't it, to play against Chelsea because they're normally like one of the top sides over recent years and beating them 6-0, it's like what we did to Liverpool ages ago. Um, credit to Aguero, enjoyed today's game as I did last week against Arsenal. It's good to see Aguero score two hat-tricks in one week. Um, credit to Sterling and Gundogan. It's just like, we don't even need to sign anyone at the moment. I'm just really proud to see that we're back top of the league. It's all down to the wire. But let's hope Liverpool slip up and let's hope City can win the league. City till I die. In 1972, a group of great footballing philosophers once proclaimed, and I quote, maybe in another generation, when other lads will have come to take our place, they'll carry on the glory of the City, keeping City, city in, in first, first place. place. Wise words, quite apocryphal. Not even Nostradamus could have forecast that. Wow. What do you say after a performance like that? Where do you start? Which player do you single out? I know Sergio Aguero gets the hat-trick and becomes the all-time City record league goal scorer in his own right. Uh, it took a while to come, but it's come and 11 Premier League hat-tricks were phenomenal. But there were so many other players. Zinchenko, I thought, was amazing. Raheem Sterling, fantastic performance from him. They were all over the pitch. And 6-0 against Chelsea at home. I know it's only one game. And I did tweet during the match that it felt like I was watching CGI rather than real football. And that's how it felt to me. Um, just elastic bodies and passing and one touch. And I remember as a kid being taught one-touch football and finding it very difficult. They make it look so easy. On to the next game, Newport, of course, in the FA Cup. I'll be there doing my vlog as usual. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you're a City fan, enjoy the rest of your weekend and the days to come. Whatever happens in the title race, that's a game I will never forget. Don't forget to quote Blue in your email inquiry and you'll get a great discount from OMS Live.